Well, hello there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. Everybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I am running a half-hour FaceTime sale by using code OCT. 222 in the promo section at checkout when booking online, you can receive a half hour FaceTime for $35. If you would like to enter to win $175, holla, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and entering blessing. But as always, Scorpio, if you're doing well for yourself, let's pass this forward to our friends here that could use that extra money. But everybody is welcome to enter to win a free half hour FaceTime reading by liking, subscribing, and entering reading. I hope everybody is doing well, vibing high, and living your best Monday life. Today is going to be the best Monday ever. This is a timeless reading, Scorpio. But we are in the daily tarot here, and I do have a number download for you all. I hope you all had a beautiful and blessed weekend and a great Sunday. I know I did. I had my mama and her husband over with my daughter and her boyfriend. I made lasagna and we uh, rode my little trike that I have, my scooter. I got my mom on it. She was going about five miles per hour putting down the road, bless her heart, but it was something to see. So I had a very enjoyable Sunday and I hope you did as well. We're going to have a great week, going to be the best week of our life, Scorpio universe. I'm open to receive my blessings. Bring them in. Angel number 552 indicates that changes occurring will bring improvements and positive opportunities that you will benefit on all levels. It is important to keep up the momentum and stay positive about your current situation as they are set to improve and something wonderful is unfolding for you. Do you hear me, Scorpio? Stay positive because something wonderful is unfolding for you. Angel number 552 suggests that it is time to let go of the old that is no longer positively serving you and get ready for the wonderful changes taking place in your life. Release old doubts, fears, and perceived obstacles and look forward to new opportunities. The lesson of angel number 552 is to go with the flow of the changes of your life. Amen, spirit. Amen. Spirit is talking this morning. A lot of you, you're going through a lot of changes and you're resisting. And when we resist the flow of life, we can get ourselves in all sorts of pain and trouble. If you've ever noticed, if you go with your intuition or if something leaves your life, you accept it for it, it, it being that and start opening yourself up or start moving forward, you will find that life feels a lot easier. I'm sure there are things that just didn't work out. You accepted it, you grieved it, and you let it go. And it um, actually brought in something even better. When we start stalemating our life is when we're desperately hanging on to things that are just not serving us anymore. I've done it with people. I've done. I've done it with 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 careers, businesses. I, I've you've name it. I've tried in my past to hang on to things that were no longer serving me. Um, there may be people in your life that are talking, and you're thinking to yourself, well, "I can't even. What do, I don't even resonate with you anymore." Or you're annoyed by hearing them talk, or <laughs> something like this. Um, Scorpio, there are things in your life that need to go. For a lot of you, what needs to go is limiting beliefs, lim limiting yourself, and believing that you're not capable of manifesting everything you desire. If something is leaving your life, if something has left your life let it go sweetheart there's been a lot of painful transitions the overall energy today the coffin transformation completion a painful change and grief for some of you you could have been dealing with a leo you could have been dealing with another scorpio but scorpio um, there's been a lot of completions karmic completions in your life 
For some of you, you're doing something repetitively, pain, conflict, anger, tension, fights, scorpionic energy here. You may feel like you're being punished. You may feel like the divine is punishing you, or maybe you're receiving some bad karma. I've been sat down before by karma. It doesn't mean that you're bad. It means that you realize that you may have not acted in a great way, so you're receiving some karma. For some of you, you may be. You may be receiving some karma. For others, you're just repetitively doing something that, that's causing a lot of tension that needs to fall away. You will know what that is. Is it a lover? Is it is it something at work? Is it a way of living? Maybe you're going out and blowing your whole paycheck on uh, drinking on Friday and Saturday night, and it's no longer serving you. You want more out of life. You don't want to do that anymore. There's something that you're repetitively doing, although it is not serving your highest good. Spirit is asking you to take a look at that today. I would look up angel number 552 if I was you. Big, big messages in there for you. You may see a lot of 552 today or over the course of the next few days. If you do, that is a message that, that re this reading applies to you. Rest in perfect love, understand, oneness, the cocoon of life. Number 19, for some of you here, you need to understand that we are all one. We are one with the creator. We are one with um, those that have passed on and we are one with those on planet earth that we love, but may they may not be in our life. If you are in separation from somebody you have a soul contract with, you are one with that person. But the divine is asking you to rest here in perfect love and harmony, knowing that the divine is always supporting you and sending you beautiful warm divine light you may want to do a visualization I do it every day every morning in the middle of the day sometimes and before I go to bed sit and visualize a beautiful beam of white light coming down over you glistening I I watch it fill from my head to my fingertips all down my arms to my toes glistening beautiful divine light a shower of divine light and and really try to get into feeling that positive energy palms up sit with your palms up and envision a beam of light coming down and filling your body Scorpio the divine wants you to know that you are one with your creator you are one with the divine uncord relationships let go now forgiveness is freedom mm. For some of you here, there was heart chakra activation between you and another person that you are being guided to cut the cord. Um, I am getting my cord cutting meditation ready. I will have it for sale. It will be a, it's a visualization that you can keep and it is coming with a, um, a PDF workbook. So you can print it off and use it. That it, you, you can use this visualization cord cutting um, for many things though, Scorpio. You can even use it if you need to cut the cord to uh, negative past situations or a, a bad outlook on money. Um, so so I will, I'm working on getting that done. I have a lot of new announcements and a lot of new things coming out here, hopefully by the end of the week that I can share with you all. With that being said, a cord cutting visualization may be really good for you right now. You are being guided here to uncord from someone, let go, as well as forgive. Forgiveness is never about that person it is always about you Scorpio if you're walking around angry in pain um, you know feeling bitter it's not hurting that person they could give two fucks they're out there living their life meanwhile you're running around in so much pain that you can't focus you can't function and your present moment is being ruined as well as your future don't let somebody ruin your present and future even if they put you through some hard lessons in the past for some of you that is the biggest life lesson that you have yet to learn is knowing when to hold them and when to fold them I feel here again with oneness, the divine is letting you know that you are being held, supported right now through these painful changes, through your grief. You don't have to feel defeated, but you have to stop repetitively doing whatever it is here that you are doing. Look for the common ground in humanity. 
invoke the Lemurman light number 42. You could be 42. You could be just turning 42. You are one with the divine, sweetheart. The Holy Spirit is always walking beside you, in you, your, your ancestors, your angels, your guides, always walking beside you. You are being carried through this hard time, through these painful endings. Yeah, wow. Um, Eight of Cups, the need to move on, seeking more out of life, a spiritual quest, choosing to make a big life change, a change in priorities, leaving home. Oh boy, big message today, y'all. It's time to walk forward. It may be time to walk alone for a moment, knowing that we are all one. We are all connected energetically. That's how I read your energy. That's how I read people's energy that I, I read for in personals. We are all connected by an energy cord. We are all vibrating here on planet Earth together. We, we are all in this together. No matter what society has tried to um, make us feel, it doesn't matter your race, your culture. We are all one here on planet Earth. And, and, um, you know, man has did what they have done to us. They have done a disservice to us because of money and power. They have made us, uh, uh fight against one another, pit against one another, different cultures and races hate one another. But in reality, we are all one. We are all connected. For some of you, there is a need to move on. There's a need to start walking um, that path, going on a spiritual quest, choosing to make some big life changes here. It is a big message starting out with the angel number download that I received. I now know why I received that angel number download. Justice will be coming for you, love. For some of you, you need to um, make decisions here in the lover's. Um, be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides. You will win. Your position is one of integrity. You will get your balance. You will get your justice here, Scorp. But it may be time to move on from a way of living, a way of thinking. For some of you, you are going through a complete rebirth where you're starting to see things clearly. You're starting to see things in a different way. You are no longer wanting to hang on to the things that don't serve you. And you are wanting to try to change and be more positive. And that is a beautiful thing. Compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success. You have some kind of financial security, prosperity coming in here. King of Pentacles energy, feminine or male sitting here on your throne, baby. Big D energy. That is what you are embodying here today, Scorpio. Or this is what you will move into once you get out of this grieving energy. Um, for some of you, your health is about to get better. You're, you're being guided to make choices from the heart in the lovers. Um, you, you could be recovering from an illness. For some of you, you could have just had surgery. You're recovering from that. For some of you, you just could have got a promotion or a new job position that is allowing more money to flow in. That was part of your karma. Um, feeling really good again. Looking your best. Feeling your best here. Glowing and growing over here. And I am so proud of you. A lot of beauty coming in for you, Scorpio. Just hang on. You're just in a grieving process right now. That is all. Remember, everything is temporary. So if you are going through some pain, if you're going through some grief because you're realizing it's time to let go of some people, places, and things, um, it is temporary, love. You will see the light at the end of the tunnel. The sun will come back out in your life. And actually, when it does, you're going to be sitting in a better position than you ever thought possible. Sometimes we can try and try and start to feel like, I'm doing everything. I'm saying affirmations. I'm meditating. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Nothing's happening. And it's most likely a subconscious block that nothing is going to change, that you're never going to be successful, that you'll never meet the right person, that all men are cheaters or all women are hoes, whatever those blockages are that you have created, you may want to really start working on those so you can start bringing in all the beautiful things that you have always been meant to have. Moving on here to money, pay yourself first. 
make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you get paid. The loving form of self-care ensures that you have savings and that you can invest in things when it comes up. For some of you here, um, exercise and increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifestation is quickly is to have a very high level of energy. The easiest way to increase that is through physical exercise. Choose a fun, meaningful activity so you look forward to exercising. Um, for some of you, you need to release stuck energy. That's essentially what Spirit is saying here. Um, releasing stuck energy and, and raising your vibration is going to allow for you to bring in more financial opportunities or have the energy to um, work full time and then do a side gig. So you may want to just um, walk every day. If you, I love to walk. I enjoy walking. I look forward to my walk. I'll do a walking meditation sometimes if I don't have Luna. But most of the time, I just chill. I put on my music or some kind of podcast, and I just do my thing. I feel the sun beat down on me. Now, as it gets colder, um, it may not be as enjoyable, and I probably will move to the treadmill. But for some of you, you live in warm weather places. Getting outside in the morning sun, especially, studies show that it helps your melatonin levels with sleeping. It helps balance you out, Scorpio. Even if you take a 10-minute walk around the block, go, go outside, breathe in that fresh air, and release some stuck energy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you do not have something, and the universe will manifest exactly as you affirm. Let other successes inspire you rather than frustrate you. For some of you, you're having a hard time. So there's people in your life that it's making you angry that they are doing well. For some of you, you're stuck on my ex looks like they're having this great life. They have all this money. They have all this, um, you know, they're, they're with a new person. And here I am over here um, alone and broke. You never know how happy the Holy Spirit will let somebody get before they take it from them. You never know that person's path. You only know what you see. And it is no longer your life together. It is your life and there it is theirs. We all have our own um, healing path. We all have our own karma to pay. We are always on our own journey. Even if we are together, even if it is your twin, soulmate, whatever, it is not your journey together. It is your journey and their journey. If you choose with free will actions to be together, um, then you will. But if one of you chooses to not, you are always walking your own path. So if there's somebody in your life that you're envious of or, or jealous of, Scorpio, no, you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. You don't know what metal karma they could be going through or what is to come for them. If you hang on and look at it in love and light and stay in your higher self, I know something, you will have your good karma come. You will. But by speaking jealousy, affirmations, saying, um, you know, like things mean out loud because you're jealous of somebody, you're going to get more of that back love is what spirit is saying. There could be some people that are actually jealous of you. Tell me about Scorpio and money and finance spirit. Now, I got these cards a while ago. I don't love them, but I thought we would use them today. Transform, success, a breakthrough. Create, invest here, share, get your messages out and reach more people, um, um, gain a deeper connection. You may want to work on um, video marketing or doing something here to get your ideas out, your, your business ideas out. Or if you have a business, um, Spirit is guiding you to do more to connect with your clients or your um, customers in some way. Get creative in your business. How can you break the rules? Um, how can you create momentum? You're being guided here to get creative with your money and finance. If you want to break through your internal blocks and to stop struggling, you have to do things differently. This is what I mean. A lot of you have, etern you have internal blocks that you've created that um, 
you know, money is, is hard to get or you're always going to, to live in poverty or you're never going to get ahead. Just by saying those things out loud, that's what you're getting more back. Just by feeling that way, like I can never get ahead. I take two steps forward, one step back. I just can't get ahead. By repeating that, by thinking that you're creating blockages here in your money and finance, invest in yourself to learn the skills you need to create a thriving business. Um, being guided big time here to invest in yourself. Pay yourself first. Invest in yourself here. There's something spirit wants you to invest in, Scorpio, for your growth and for your money and finance. Investing in yourself is also self-care. Um, taking care of yourself. Eating good. Working out. Getting enough sleep here. Because there's a lot of confusion right now. You, some of you feel like you've been um, just in this tunnel of darkness. It's just been, you're lost in your mind, you're lost in thought, you're, you're um, really not in a great place with your money and finances. It's been some dark times, but you're going to get out of it. This too will pass. A lot of doubt, a lot of thoughts, a lot of negativity in your energy today, love. It's really important for you to start working your way out of this. Is it easy? Hell no, it's not easy. 96% of what you do every day is subconscious. Do you know how um, hard it is to break that? Um, where your brain, though, is like a muscle. You train your brain to stop thinking negative. You train your brain to um, be able to control the thoughts that you're having. And you will be able to have more success than you realize. For some of you, it's time because your subconscious mind is is really negative right now, Scorpio. You're just expecting the worst, um, thinking the worst, and receiving that. Tell me about this. Tell me about what Scorpio needs to work on transforming. <clears throat> yeah. Um, you have a lot of really, you need to be a little more um, enthusiastic about your money and career. Get excited about new opportunities coming in. There's about to be a great time of joy and success here. You could be having epiphanies. You could be starting to realize that your thoughts become your reality and, and you have to get it together. But again, transformation. The divine is really asking you to allow yourself to go through some kind of transformation, a significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination and releasing old belief systems. That is what you're being guided to do here in your money and career. A brilliant time of success, a time of joyful accomplishments and spiritual enlightenment. Be proud of yourself. Freedom to do whatever you want. The divine is giving you a message. Wherever you are, even if you are experiencing some dark times, even if you have $2 in the bank, you need to congratulate yourself for the work that you have been doing. The only, the last thing you need to do though is get your mind right when it comes to money. Um, I grew up in a house that my parents did well for themselves, but my dad worked very hard. So it would be like, um, you know, you think money grows on trees and, blah, you know, that, that kind of, um, box thinking and it's very hard to break away from that when you grow up with with certain you know our parents put certain things on us it's very hard to break away a lot of you that is the last thing you need to do and 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 you're going to transform your money moving on here to love oh boy there's a lot of negative energy here <sighs> let's hope we can turn it around for some of you um you're really not in a good mindset. Somebody has just did some kind of number on you, Scorp. You've been confused. You've been hesitant. You've been a little lost. <clears throat> now, I pulled us an oracle before we be, I begun because I just wanted to not save time. And you pulled number seven. And this is your third eye chakra, Confidence in the power of healing number seven. This is Virgo in Selena. You may have a Virgo in Selena. It is said that only very special people are able to heal others and tend to their wounds of broken heart. And it is also said that there are no hearts that have never been broken. No souls that do not bear scars. 
Sometimes we must believe in our power to heal, to be even if for a little while and in limited circumstances, that special person who can and will bring solace to the pain of those close to you. Just remember that the wounds and the scars of your soul cannot be seen. Believe in what you feel, not in what you see. You have been in a relationship with somebody. You could be currently right now, or this is who you have been guided to get walk away from that was either very healing to you or very healing to them. For some of you, you were both put into one another's life to heal old wounds and scars. Um, Scorpio, your healing energy is very powerful. Your sexual energy is very healing. Some of you don't even realize how healing your energy really is. Just being in your beautiful, watery, transformational energy. You seem to have um, been very healing to another person. Um, but it's not always meant to last for a lifetime. You may have been guided to this person to heal them and for them to heal some of your scars. And, and it was for a season. It may be time to, to um, come to a place in your mind where you can accept that. Tell me, Spirit, tell me about this healing relationship. For some of you, you're you're thinking to yourself, healing, this person put me through A, B, and C, but it, it was so you could heal abandonment wounds, insecurities, uh, past relationships. It was so you could wake up and start making changes, start doing things differently. Um, so, yeah definitely somebody from your past. I have never used this deck without pulling past love. A lover here from the past. Um, this is somebody that you may not be in communication with right now or very light communication. It's been a painful change. It's been a ch painful transition. You're grieving right now. It was a very healing relationship. It was a serious relationship or partnership, a marriage or a live-in for some of you, for some of you, that's what you have coming. This person can have lighter hair. You could have lighter hair. They could have been younger than you as well. Somebody here could have reddish blonde, strawberry blonde hair, dark hair, um, very youthful, could like cars. But there, there could have been some gossip, some small talk, and you heard something, or you may, Scorpio. But there's something that's destined to change here within your love life. There's something that is um, about to change. Your luck is about to get better. For some of you, this was a destined relationship, and it was for your healing. It was for their healing. It ne wasn't necessarily for them to be a life partner. Fate will bring you together. Free will determines what we do with it. Um, maybe your free will decisions would have allowed you to be together forever, but that doesn't seem to be what's going on here. So you may need to accept it. Tell me about love in Scorpio's life right now, spirit. Tell me about love today. New beginnings here. Yeah, you're isolating. You're in your mind here going round and round, thinking a lot. A lot of negative a lot of negativity trying to take action, trying to get the courage to move on, trying to to find the courage to let go. It takes courage to change. It's easier to stay the same. It's easier to stay with the same person on and off, back and forth. You know you know them. It's like the devil you know. Um, it, it takes a lot of courage to move forward. So if, if you're trying to do that, you need to congratulate yourself. Even if you're not quite there, just knowing that it's time for me to move on, but maybe you're not quite ready yet, is courage. You, sh you should feel proud of yourself, Scorpio. It's not easy to accept that it may be time to let go of somebody you love. It's not easy to accept that maybe this person was in your life for a reason. I can easily sit here and say that that to you but to experience it it's a whole different thing so whatever you wherever you are here in this journey whether you're almost at the end or you're just beginning feel proud of yourself if you're even acknowledging that perhaps this person is not meant to be in your life forever um tell me about this destiny luck chance something could change something could happen today 
Yeah, you're in separation. You're longing for somebody. There was deception and there was temptation. This relationship was destined. It was to help you heal. This person, though, it's, there was a lot of temptation around them, a lot of um, deception. Um, I, I'm also hearing the Drake song, Nice For What? Uh, I, I'm, I'm hearing it um, in my third eye. I don't know if you've just listened to that song, if you like the Drake song, Nice For What? But I'm hearing it's real ones with your reflection, without a follow, without a mention. You really piping up on, you know, that, that, that verse is what I just keep hearing. I don't know if for some of you, you have been home alone a lot, um, online dating and you're not having any luck you meet them and you're like blah they don't look like they do online or or something like this um but you're very nurturing you're very compassionate and this person feels that energy they feel your healing energy you were very healing to them but for most of you this person they didn't they didn't transform. They didn't take that energy and change. They just kept doing the same old thing. Their bad decisions and choices. Tell me how um, the person on Scorpio's mind, the person Scorpio's thinking about a lot, how are they feeling? They could be getting got, um, downloads from their uh, ancestors. They're in lack. They're suffering here. They're not, they're in pain. They're, they're, they're thinking about the past as well. They have um, their guides giving them messages, downloads. There's something could have happened over the summertime in their life or something could have happened between the two of you at the beginning of summer. You've been in separation for some. Something could happen here. Now we have autumn. They're having breakthroughs. They're having epiphanies here. They've been avoiding you. They have um, repressed all of these feelings. They don't want to feel. They don't want to see. And they don't want to look. This is somebody that just wants to act like nothing happened. They're just going about their life. But they're actually in a very bad mind mindset. This is someone that you may think bad karma is not affecting them. But you have no idea how bad their thoughts are pounding down on them. They could be going through some renewal, having some sparks of, of clarity, understanding who you are to them. Their ancestors, their guides have been telling them, um, giving them messages. And something could happen here by the end of autumn. I feel this is somebody who um, is having epiphanies about this relationship being healing, about you being put into their life, about how nurturing and compassionate you were to them. Comparing yourself to others diminishes your beauty. Your partner is eager to compromise. They're starting to come to a point where they want to have some kind of compromise with you. You're at the point of no return. The end is near. But most of you are here because you just can't stand it anymore. You, um, now you want to compromise after 10 years of me begging you is what you're saying. Now you want to compromise after uh, a year of me being in separation from you and going through so much pain. Like, nah, I'm good. I'm not going back. But for some of you, you're comparing yourself. There's some jealousy in your energy, Scorpio. Get a check on that. We all have the ability to be jealous and envious. Fuck, I have been many times in my life before I went through um, my, my big awakening. But there's no reason to compare yourself to a third party. There's no reason to compare yourself to people they're talking to online. There's no, there's no need. No, nobody can replace you to this person. Nobody ever will. So get clear on that right now. Even if you have never contacted by this person again, no one will ever replace you, Scorpio. They, they will not be able to. You will always be very special to this person. You were very healing and transformational to them. If that gives you any comfort or any peace. No more games. Your partner has new goals. Oh my gosh, I, I would be so happy if this person is actually seeing. They seem to be having breakthroughs and um, eager to compromise now. So maybe for some of you, this is doable. Maybe this time of separation was exactly what you needed because this person needed to get it together, Scorp. I got triggered. You were triggering them. I'm telling you this relationship was for both of you. 
I can feel your energy even though we're apart. They still feel you. They can still feel you around. You can still feel them most likely as well. You feel like home to me, Scorpio. You're in my dreams. I'm dreaming of you. My ancestors are smacking me um, with, with uh, constant reminders. I have so much to tell you. It's been so long. I love spending time with you. I can't wait to tell you a b or c scorpio i can't wait to tell you um what has been going on in my life for some for some of them they've been going through a big transformation spiritually and we could be talking about someone who is very 3d or very religious and they've actually been experiencing a lot of spiritual events tell me what is this person planning on doing i got my sexy card out so if you're sensitive you may not want to watch um Knight of Swords here. Uh, this is somebody who makes too quick of decisions with Scorpio. They are fantasizing about you. Let me tell you. Let me pick this up, guys. This is somebody who is fantasizing about coming in here and having some kind of very intense sexual uh, encounter. I feel um, that it's important for you to remember that this person is still wounded nine of wands energy here three of wands they are planning they are fantasizing they want to come in here and uh really have some fun that's what they want they're trying to balance their self out in temperance knight of pentacles they're moving very very slow very slow what do we have here in reverse the high priestess not listening to their intuition and the devil in reverse trying to come out of the devil very good that it's in reverse this, this person's trying to get out of this toxic way of behaving they're trying to get out of obsessive obsessively thinking about you so they can come in and talk they're, they're trying to balance their emotions out here but they've been moving incredibly slow um, some of you could have a really long hair. This person could have really long hair. There's something about hair today really standing out to me. For some of you, you really like this person's hair or they stroke your hair. They definitely betrayed you here in the Ten of Swords. This is somebody who wants to come in and talk about it. Talk about what happened. Talk about what's been going on in their life here. Um, you, they feel like you no longer want to invest. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They feel like maybe you're not going to um, be you know, open to hearing from them. They're watching you. They, they're, they're trying to figure out if you're dating. They could be even coming up with fake dating profiles to try to see if they could match with you. I would be careful. This is somebody that um, really wants to come in and express something to you. You could get written communication, an email, some kind of letter in your car, something like this. I, I really feel that this is someone that's in a lot of regret. And, and and they really want to compromise, but they haven't found the nerve to come in and talk because Ten of Swords here, they betrayed you big time. They sold you out. They sold their self out. No one else makes me feel the way you do, but I'll take it to the grave before I tell you. Still in their ego here, Scorpio. Still very um, egotistical, wanting to act like, oh, they're good. They're cool. They're running around out here. They're fine. Um, and in reality, they're going through it. The divine has been putting this person under it. I have many regrets that keep me from moving forward. I'm telling you, this is somebody here who really has a lot of regret for doing what they have done to you. This person regrets hurting you, Scorpio. They do. And I actually feel like we are talking about someone right now. Now, if you had an abusive relationship, if you had a relationship with this person repeatedly hurt you, etc., this may not be for you. I feel like this is somebody that really made a bad choice. They made a really bad decision. They fucked all the way up and they know it. And they want to come in with an actual apology. They've went through some kind of break, um, breakthroughs. They've had some kind of spiritual spiritual awakening and and they want to come in and communicate with you that they understand now what they have done <clears throat> open-mindedness the zebra i really wish you the very best keep your your boundaries up scorpio keep moving forward 
try to release and let go what is meant for you will never pass you by if this person is meant to come back into your life they will whether you sit around and think about it constantly or not try to focus your energy on the present on what you're doing right now if you're going round and round in your mind about this person about past uh, conversations what happened in the past stop yourself you have to retrain your subconscious mind zebra open-mindedness there is more than one way of looking at things you must be ready to accept all alternative viewpoints and new ideas you must open your eyes to new ideas and new ways of resolving problems y'all this is the biggest mes message for you and i hope you take it the divine is asking you to walk forward don't just sit here doing the same thing expecting different results don't just sit here stalemating your life and not bringing in new opportunities because you're so busy living in the past let go sweetheart they will come back if they're meant to I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed Monday. Going to be the best Monday of our life. We're going to have the best Monday ever. Love and light.